Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I did it, it's here, here we go, here we go. Oh, I can't believe it, it worked. World record, world record, let's go. Hey, howdy and hello friends, it's Wickedy here, and I completed a world record in Stardew Valley speedrunning, probably one of the most hated bundle categories, and that's the fish tank. Why do so many people hate this? Well, it's fishing, of course, and there is a lot of fishing RNG involved too. I saw that the world record hadn't been beaten in over two years and thought, hey, I like suffering. Let's put my suffering on record. One thing about the fish tank bundle, you need to get some fish that isn't really easy to get sometimes, like the ghost fish in the mines, wood skip in the secret woods, and sand fish in the desert. All these speedrunners depend on the traveling cart for most of those fish, so getting lucky is a must. But me? I got to thinking, I don't want to deal with all that, so let's make my fish tank bundle be not a celebration of lucky cart checks, let's let it be a celebration of pure fishing skill. So time to throw that specialty fish bundle out the window and go for some remixed community center bundles with the goal of filling out the quality fish bundle. Here, we don't need any of those outsourced fish. Everything is local and of the highest quality. Time to make those Junimos proud and see if I can make this work while getting the best time possible. Now, normally when someone does the fish tank bundle speed run, you choose the forest farm so that you can catch the wood skip, but I don't need that garbage, not me. Oh no, we are going with the beach farm. I can find many of the crab pot fish here on the shores of this farm, plus crates that can have coffee in them too, which might be super useful. I also put down a few extra cabins if I need to sleep quick, and I put stars as my favorite thing, you know, for, for good luck. Now I start this run and sleep until the 5th of spring. I don't want rain so that I can maximize my day. If it's wet, we reset. <laughs> All right, this one's good. We just gotta clear a few trees to make a chest. I place it here because I kind of have a problem of forgetting to check the mail and the chest blocks me from forgetting. On this farm, I always keep an eye on the wet sand part of the shores. So that's where beach forage spawns and crates too. After I collect a bit of forage at the bus stop, it's time to touch the butt, no, not that butt, <laughs> the button in the community center to let me get a letter from the wizard and get this run rolling. Sometimes I like to sell some bits to Pierre. I only want one thing from the traveling cart and sometimes having a bit of extra pocket money can help. I also like to check the trash cans. Sometimes fish can be found in the trash cans that can shave off a ton of time in this run, so I take a peek if I'm walking by. I checked my mail earlier, so I got my rod from Willie and grabbed a couple of beach forage from the shores. Two out of the five forage crab pot fish down? Fantastic. Now, I have remixed bundles in the community center, so that means I might need a sprunion, or spring onion, <laughs> instead of one of the other spring forage. So I checked today because I can't leave it up to chance that there will be spring onions the next time I'm here. The word of the day, Sprunions, is sponsored by the Sprunions mod, made by me over at the Nexus. So the first fish you catch is guaranteed to not slip away. You can use this to your advantage on this run. Sometimes I like to wait for a rainy day and use that on a catfish. As long as you fish in the river, not the pond of Cindersap Forest, your first fish is guaranteed to be a sunfish on a sunny day. If you fish in the town or the pond here, you could catch a smallmouth bass, we don't want that. After snagging a sprunion, it's the first cart check. There is only one fish that I'm aiming for from here, and that's any crab pot fish that can't be foraged. Bonus fish would be eel, sturgeon, and maybe catfish or tiger trout or fish stew or something. We got, oh, sandfish and pufferfish, so for me, nothing. Okay. I have the advantage of doing this run on an ultra-wide monitor, so back on the farm, I wander the farm and keep an eye out for any of the beach forage on both sides. This crate has coffee, so helpful. There's a cockle on the shores already too, so I'm just going to need an oyster and something from the cart. I already have all five spring forage, so it's off to bed until Sunday. Now today we got to check the mail and we got a letter from the wizard asking me to stop by. The cart has an octopus, not what I need because this isn't the master fisher run. Over at the wizard tower I learned Junimoish and ran off to the community center checking trashes along my way. If I was missing any of the spring forage I'd check the bundle button while in the tower and track down anything I need but I got all I need for the spring bundle. Completing the bundle unlocks the pantry and the fish tank and after we check that I see that I have... Ugh, the Master Fisher bundle. Ugh, I hate you. <laughs> so it's time to reset over and over and over and over and over again and check this over and over and over until I find a quality fish bundle. 
Okay, for real this time, this is the run I'm going with, with sprinkles. I've already walked through the beginning steps with you all, so I'm gonna speed this along. The beaches have an oyster, cockle, and clam. I caught a sunfish on the 5th, the cart sold nothing of value to me, and I found no crates on the shores, but I have all the spring forage. I sleep until Sunday, the cart has nothing for me again. All right, now we're back to the community center. I'm donating all of my spring forage, and here we have the quality fish bundle, meaning that this run is good to go. So it's off to bed. I was able to find a good bit of forage and bits and bobs to sell for a bit of money that I'm going to need later. I wasn't able to find an extra crab pot fish, so I'll be sleeping until the last day of spring to help me look for the missing muscle and make some money for the crab pot. Now, I have this uh, FOMO problem with the traveling cart. It's so tempting to check the cart every Friday and Sunday, but it takes up so much of my time and I can totally do this run without the cart at all. From the South Beach cabin to check the cart and then back again, it usually takes me about 45 seconds. Add that up twice a week and that was just taking up way too much time for my fishing, so I decided to only check the cart on the 5th, 7th, and on the last day of spring since I have to be out of the house anyway. If none of the crab pot fish that I need are there, then I move on to using just crab pots for the last fish, which I buy once I reach level 3 fishing. Alright, it's the last day of spring. I need money for a new rod, bait, trout soup, and maybe a crab pot, so I forage the beach hoping to find a mussel too. While at it, I check the cart on the off chance that there is something there, and lucky me, there is a lobster. Fantastic. Now only a mussel to find, which is usually pretty easy to get on the beach. After selling all the extra goodies, I have over 2,900 gold. Fantastic. I need about 3,100 for everything I need from Willy, and I'll be catching some fish to sell too. Now that spring is over, it's time to finally get to fishing, so I sleep until the 13th of summer. I could stop sleeping once I get my first rainy summer day, but the 13th is special because it is shell season, meaning that there's a good chance for any beach forage I'm missing at the ocean and shells for money. I found a crate with coffee and saw the missing mussel on my own shores today, so I popped on a coffee and donated all the fish to the community center that I had and headed to the beach. Today is the first big fishing day and I have a few goals to hit. I need to catch the summer ocean fish, tilapia is here until 2, I need a red snapper in this rain, and I need a tuna. I also need a gold star quality tuna, which is the real struggle. And I need to reach level 2 fishing so that I can buy a fiberglass rod and some bait from Willy. The mermaids blessed me today with some bubbles that lasted a really long time. Hitting level 2 fishing is going to be so much easier with these, I just need to keep on catching anything that bites. I catch the tilapia, red snapper, and reach level 2. I want to still use these bubbles for at least one tuna, so I got that, and then I sell all my extra bits and fish to Willy so that I can buy that rod and some bait and some extra trout soup. The rod and bait will help so much with a higher bite rate, and the soup will boost my level to make catching higher quality fish much easier. All that's left at the ocean today is a gold star tuna, and the bubbles are still there, oh my gosh, and in a great spot for higher quality fish too, so I fish those bubbles and cancel any non-tuna fish. Heck no, Mr. Octopus, not today. I got a good tuna bite round one with a fancy gold star, meaning that I am done here for today, and it is still so early. To help me out in the future, I bought a coffee from Gus and went to the lake. Normally, I try to catch the bream after my ocean fish because it usually takes me longer, but some of the lake fish are still available today, so that's what I'll do. I need a carp, bullhead, sturgeon, largemouth bass, and gold quality largemouth bass. Oh my, bubbles again? Not in a great location for quality, but this will help me catch the other fish. Also, the fact that it's raining is very helpful at the lake, as rainbow trout won't show up. Oh, we got a sturgeon! Oh, this one's a bit tough, but I was able to catch it at four, giving me three hours to hopefully catch a gold star largemouth bass. To save time, I'll cancel out any other fish. Oh, and no matter what I did, these fish were just not giving me good quality. Bummer. Largemouth bass are here every season though, so I have a chance in the future, but it's time to catch a bream in town. They show up after 6 p.m. Fantastic, off to the community center. So always make sure if you're doing this run to drop off your quality first fish if you can. I forgot to here, but it's fine, but I have accidentally donated a gold star fish to the wrong bundle before. I got all the fish that I picked up today into their little bundle spots and I decided I'd catch the largemouth bass in fall. So it's time to sleep until the first rainy fall day. It is raining on the 3rd and my path to the lake is uh, kind of blocked, so through the town and to the lake we go. 
It took a little bit for this largemouth bass to bite, but by 10, it was in my grasp, so it's off to town to catch the rest. Thank you, coffee. Fall rainy fish has a very long list. I need a tiger trout, catfish, shad, and walleye. I also need a quality shad and walleye, so I fish over here to give me the best fishing zone in town. Shad show up at 9 a.m. and walleye show up at noon. I know all of these fish's patterns for the most part, so it's a cancel out of any fish that isn't the fish I'm fishing for kind of day. Oh, okay, so it's four already, and I haven't gotten the walleyes yet, not even one, but I need to catch two ocean fish too. Eel show up at four and sardine leave at seven, so I have a three hour window to get them both. The sardine was quick to bite, eel following soon after. I can feel myself stressed out on the time right now. Two walleye is all I need and oh my gosh, please be a walleye. Ah, perfect. Okay, 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 you, please be a walleye. Oh, it's there, now it's time to go. Drop off all the fish, let's go. Ah, uh, I'm fine. We're gonna run in, <laughs> we're gonna drop off the quality first, okay? Which is this, that, that, okay, go back, back please, night fish, uh, walleye please, back, 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 whatever you need, whatever you need, buddy, whatever you need, whatever you need, and then ocean fish, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> I beat my best again, ah, uh, I wanted sub 50, but you know what, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm happy with it. We're good, we did it, yay. Hooray! 50-40. And that, friends, is how I remix the fish tank bundle to hook and reel in a world record. Now, if you are interested in watching the full run from start to finish, I do walk through and say everything that I've been doing. I went ahead and linked that down below. You can check it out there. So how about you? Are you planning on ever trying out a speed run like the fish tank bundle? Or what speed run are you wanting to watch me do next? Alrighty friends, I'm Wickety. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye!